you want to apply the date for elimination on your program, then task manager will, as expected, iterate over each function and invoke your update for elimination. That's simple. Let's say you want to do global, global common server expense or elimination also, then as you expect, task manager will iterate over each function. It will invoke the date for elimination pause and then it will also invoke the global server expression elimination pause. But it's not that simple because common server expression elimination pause also requires domain date for the server. So pass manager will automatically insert the pass to create dominator information and later on it will show it the dominator information because no one else is using it and it's still for the next function. So it doesn't need to worry about that. Now uh, I'll take another example. Let's say you want to do inline logic. So in this example, pass manager will work each function, <coughs> apply this to each function level optimization process. After optimizing all functions, first manager will construct the call graph and walk the call graph and ignore the inline or do inline. Now, what if I move inline from here to here? Like, we want to inline before doing the rate for this. Now, say so things are different. Now, first, the first manager will construct the call graph, walk the inline, inline the function, and at the same time, it will apply all the function level optimization process. And suddenly, the, you can see the inline is more powerful because inline is now working on the optimized function. When you inline this node into this node, after the B, all the call sites in the function B are in line, as soon as they will optimize B before going on to the B. So, Without changing the inliner implementation, without changing anything in these two optimization passes, without changing inlining heuristic, we suddenly made inliner more powerful. By doing this simple change, we observe more than 10 percent of the optimization speed up in many benchmarks. Some of them are in LLVM history. So. You can see fast manager is very powerful and you can order your optimization process the way you want. So let's say how you want to use the fast manager. When, when you are developing a pass, then you have to select the base class based, based on whatever you are developing. If you are writing a loop transformation, then you will use loop class as a, your base class. Then you then you will implement one method get analysis in set. This is used by the pass manager to know what information you are using and what information you are preserving. And finally, you have to implement this run on method that pass manager will use to invoke your optimization operations. To take a concrete example, recently I, I wrote loop rotation pass, so I wrote, I wrote this simple get analysis usage to tell pass manager that I expect Loops are, that loops are in loop close accessory form, and I guarantee that my pass will preserve that form. And then I implement the, my entire loop rotation part as part of the run on it. And I don't have, need to worry about how to construct the loop name. I don't need to worry about how to work the loop bottom or top down, whatever. And I don't need to worry about how the loop close accessory form is. There. Now, OP is a command line interface that is available to use the pass manager. And you can use arbitrary sequence of passes on the OP and it will follow your sequence. So, if you want to find the optimal sequence of optimization passes for your application, then you can try. OP, can, OP will make the life easier. There is a command line option to give a pass structure that you can use to see what sequence pass manager is using to execute all the optimization that we have to protect. 